Ackland's a local manufacturing firm and they made all these cultivators and things and Dad got on very well with the Ackland family and he uh, used to drive the tractor at demonstrations at local field days and that for them. They'd often bring out these new or updated versions to our place to try out, somewhat frustratingly because we had like one of their really, really early ones that was a back-breaking machine to fold up and, and every so often Ackland's would turn up with one of these pretty flash hydraulic fold things that didn't take much folding up and we'd have it for half a day and then they'd take it away again and I couldn't talk Dad into buying one for, for anything. We'd go back to using the old manual lift-up thing and Ackland's would sort of uh, see how it worked and then take it back and modify it a bit after Dad had sort of given his impression on it. But it probably frustrated them a bit that he never actually bought one either, perhaps. <laughs> Much later on, we bought one second-hand at a clearing sale and it had faded a bit and it wasn't worth quite as much money. It looks like we're using an old plough there. You can see on our original block, the one that the family first sort of started off on here. And uh, I think that's the same plough that probably my uh, grandfather used and his, his grandparents might have used that, being converted over to put on a tractor. And I remember doing all those sort of jobs and you know I'd be doing something and dad would take the opportunity to come and film a bit of it and uh, did a lot of that sort of stuff. <laughs> Nowadays we've got tractors that steer themselves up and down the paddock and you set the climate control on 22 degrees or something and yeah I'd uh, hate to have to go back to something that small nowadays. <laughs> that shot there you can see he's Obviously climbed up the top of the silo, hanging on with one hand, I suppose, while he's filming with the other one. And, you know, that, that job again, loading all the bags on the truck, something we don't do anymore. It's all a lot less labour-intensive, so it's good to have it all. The uh, toy tractor was mine, but, yeah, Dad actually made a couple of things. That combine was one, which is... Um, He's made it out of a bit of bit of timber and some some old wheels that were laying around the farm somewhere. But he, he also made a little little scarifier out of a um, square tube, which I I can remember him making. Or well, he he bought a scarifier and um, yeah, he sort of miniaturised it himself and uh, yeah, made one which he would have put a lot of effort into that. <laughs>